Hey, it's Teresa here from Hello Ocean, and today we are bound for St. Bart's. We're going to St. Bart's to learn what the islanders are doing about the lionfish invasion. So we're off to Gros Ile to look for lionfish. Okay, here's the problem. Lionfish are an invasive species that were accidentally introduced into the Atlantic in the mid-90s. One theory is that uh, Andrew Hurricane in 1992 busted an aquarium in Florida that released six lionfish individuals in the Caribbean. Female lionfish can lay up to two million eggs per year. Ocean currents carry their eggs and larvae to new areas. The first were observed in uh, St. Martin, St. Bart's in 2010. Within five years, uh, their population really exploded. Sure. So the best place is to look. It's just under rocks, right? Conservationists at St. Bart's Nature Reserve are studying the lionfish to better understand the threat they pose to the local marine ecosystems. Directing the project is Oliver Reynaud. Would you like to check what's inside? Yeah. Yeah? It's a big predator, so hopefully we'll see some interesting stuff. Sebastian's job as marine specialist is to keep tabs on the local All lionfish right. population. Check what they have in their belly. Mm -hmm. It's taking off the spines because these will make you really sick. We actually want to know if, uh, if we're about to find uh, lobster juveniles or other kind of juveniles that they could likely eat also. If we identify that lionfish uh, are big consumers of lobster juveniles. That means it's definitely uh, an area of improvement we have to work on. Lionfish eat as many as 50 different species and have large appetites. They can devour twice their body weight and their stomach can stretch up to 30 times its normal size. The only difference is that in the in Indian Ocean or Pacific Ocean, they have predators. Uh, here we lack the big groupers, the big predators that have been overfished that regulate the populations. So we would have had predators had they not been overfished? Most likely, yes. There's an anchovy and a piece of a small fish about this big. So what's the problem with an invasive species? Well, all species compete to survive and that creates balance in an ecosystem. But introduce a lionfish in the Caribbean and we have a problem. They multiply quickly, they eat almost anything, and here they have no predators so they can outcompete the native species. Left unchecked, the lionfish invasion could destroy marine ecosystems. So the locals have developed some creative solutions. Today I'm signing up for a lionfish rodeo. ready for the hunt. Here we go. <laughs> this fish is not good for all the fish. We eat the, the baby of langurus. Do you think you'll catch one? I hope. So this is the spear or the Hawaiian sling that they're going to use to catch the fish. The lionfish goes in there so that you don't have to handle it because they're dangerous to touch. And then from there they're going to take it out and chop it in half and feed it to the sharks, but away from the swimmers. Just for those who have never used the fouet, pass the pouce in the sand and when you are in front of the lion, um, to be uh, careful about the, the lionfish because it can hurt and uh, it can be very bad. In fact, the venomous spines deliver a toxin that is said to cause severe pain, but the remedy is just as painful. I've got my mask and my fins and snorkel, and I've got a bottle of hot water just in case. They say that this sting is really painful from the lionfish, but if you immerse it in hot water right away, apparently it helps. I don't want to find out. Okay, here's the deal. In today's competition, teams of two will try to kill as many lionfish as possible. One person dives down to spear the fish, while the other stays at the surface for safety. Okay, let's go kill the little fish. When they catch one, they will transfer it to the zookeeper aboard the kayak. The team that catches the most lionfish wins. Everybody's back aboard and I think it was a successful catch. Once the lionfish are collected, they are taken to deeper water, cut into pieces and fed to the sharks. We don't know who the winner of the rodeo was because no one was keeping track. But together, we collected 29 lionfish and had a great time. How many did you catch? Let's see, set, wheat, and I don't know exactly. But it was good for the first time, very good. The conservationists in St. Bart's aren't just sitting back and letting the lionfish take over. 
They're creating opportunities for community members to do something. And to me, that's the best part. Getting anyone and everyone involved in protecting our ocean. By the way, some Caribbean islands are serving lionfish at restaurants to give fishermen an incentive to catch more lionfish. Here in St. Bart's, that isn't possible because they're infected with ciguatera, but we're bound for Guadalupe next, where they are on the menu. So keep checking the Hello Ocean website for updates because this vegetarian just might be compelled to try a lionfish. I mean, hey, it's good for the environment, right? You decide. Click this link to cast your vote and to find out more about St. Bart's Nature Reserve and how you can help. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.